All right, going on the road this week and uh, looking to get, of course, on track and get a win for this football team. What was your reaction when you got the news, Bill, that the uh, switch was made and Mike was out and you were in? My reaction? Um, ready to get to work. I think we're, uh, as a team, ready to get back on track so we know there's work to be done and we're uh, definitely ready to put that work in. How different will the offense look? Well, we're going to try to be much cleaner in our approach and uh, take care of the football, take care of the quarterback, and be explosive You know, when the ball's in our hands. So we want to focus on the fundamentals and, um, of course, end up in the end zone much more than we have the last uh, really couple months. Bill, how much input did you have in uh, Paxton being named number one and Trevor being named number two? Uh, I'd say I had my uh, my share, but we're all in this together. We have good discussions, uh, good discussions, uh, good collaboration upstairs. So uh, we're looking forward to Paxton getting back out on the field. So I'm sure it seems like a long time for him since August. What do you see from him that makes you think he's ready for this challenge? I just say it's been a while. It's been a while, but he's a terrific athlete, as we know. He's put in the time. Terrific work ethic. He had a solid day of practice today, and we'll look to build on it tomorrow. What can you draw on from? your development of other young quarterbacks that can help you with a Paxton Lynch this time? Well, I'm hoping to use some of my experience um, with him. Everybody's different, but I've been fortunate to be uh, around some young QBs. I was a young QB once and being, you know, coached by, you know, Coach Shanahan. You know, he's really did a great job with me and got me uh, off on the right foot. So I try to apply those lessons uh, as I go forward. Bill, just in general for the rest of the offense, how tough is it when they're going through three quarterbacks in a matter of five games? Um, I think it's tough on the receivers to get a rapport with them, but uh, our guys put in the work so we can be um, game speed by Sunday. So they've definitely embraced that challenge. You had a little smile there when you said you had an opportunity as a young quarterback to be coached by Mike Shanahan. How was that like, and how are you different the way you handle a young quarterback? I think um, you handle every guy differently. Some guys uh, respond to different styles of coaching. So that's the key, a little bit like a teacher. Find out what that student's champion is, play to his strength, and um, that's what we're going to try to do as coaches. We're going to think players first, then plays, and uh, play to our guys' strengths and keep those concepts up their respective alleys. What do you think Paxton's strengths are right now as a quarterback? Um, he's definitely tall, so he can see the field. He can really throw it all over the field with his strength. He just needs time on task, and so this will be good. This will be another step in his development of getting him on the field. Um, so we can get more time on task. And you're only going to learn from experience. You don't learn from the sidelines. So this will be important for him. What's your philosophy on the, on the running back group? Is it more of a bell cow approach in your eyes or running back type? Well, I think I've seen what you've seen, is that uh, Book has really been playing some good football. So I think Book deserves more touches. And we'll see how the game goes. Fortunately, that stable of running backs is a real deep stable with Jamal and, of course, with CJ. So we've got confidence in all three of them. How will the first team reps that Paxton had splitting with Trevor help him in terms of giving him a foundation of timing with the receivers? Hopefully it helps a little bit, but he just got the scraps you know, last week. So they were minimal reps. And uh, of course, he'll get the bulk of them, if not 100% of them this week. Bill, you, you sit in the room with these three all season. We've seen their jobs change about three times. How have you handled that group? And how have they handled you and all this? Oh, I think fortunately, all three guys talking about Brock, Trevor, and Packs have been a very professional. Um, they're team-oriented people, so they uh, put the team first, and they've uh, been supportive of each other as we've gone through this process. But have you had to deal with their disappointments? Um, definitely, definitely. They're human. They're uh, very prideful. Um, everybody is at this level to get here. So, uh, but they've uh, been very mature about it. What is the personality of a John Pagano defense? Well, very aggressive. Um, at times exotic. Um, so we'll have our hands full uh, with the unknown and the unscouted looks on Sundays. We'll do a good job this week of trying to prep our players for that. What will the play calling process look like? Um, very similar. Uh, Clint will stay up there in the, in the booth and talk to me. Uh, love communicating with Clint. So he and I will work in conjunction, of course, coaching the QBs, and we'll call the plays from the sideline. Ben said he wanted Pax to still be an athlete. If it breaks down, don't be afraid. How do you stress that with him with also kind of staying in the script as well? Yeah, that's a fine balance. And uh, young quarterbacks figure that out over time. Some figure it out sooner than others. So that'll be part of Paxton's uh, evolution out there on the field to uh, know when to use his arm and when, know when to use his legs and know when to find a safe place to ditch it. You said you had to be like a teacher with these players. Uh, with Paxton Lynch, 
what have you found to be the best way to motivate him? Well, I think Paxton uh, responds best to direct coaching. He, uh, he gets coached hard by Clint and by myself, and he responds to that. Um, enjoy working with him. He looks you in the eye. He listens. He goes out and applies it. And uh, you know that's all you can ask for. Any expectations of what it'll be like for you personally going back to Oakland? Probably no expectations. It's definitely the opponent this week, and uh, we've got a lot of work to do. That's the understatement of the year. We're ready to uh, get back on track and get on the right side of the scoreboard at the end of the day Sunday as a team, as an organization. Ben said your interim. Do you feel like you're going to be on a you know, weekly tryout, six-week tryout here to get the job full-time? That has not crossed my mind yet. We've just been so immersed in the game plan. Um, I usually do best. I always do best when our focus is real short-term. So we're focused on this opponent's defense and uh, hoping to have a better day of practice tomorrow than we did today and keep building on it. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Coach.